The Waller ISD is scheduled to have a board meeting tonight at 6.30 to discuss reopening plans. Just one of the many districts taking steps to let parents know what this upcoming school year might look like for their children. Humble ISD is also scheduled to have a board meeting tomorrow to talk more about options for students and parents. There was a record number of COVID-19 cases in Florida over the weekend. The Sunshine State has surpassed New York and is now the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. Texas is also spiking in new cases and, can, and is considering another shutdown. NBC's Carrie Sanders reports from Miami Gardens, Florida. This morning, Sunbelt hotspots are spiking. Florida setting a national record, reporting more than 15,000 new cases of COVID-19 in a single day. At its worst, New York reported slightly more than 11,500 in a single day. I think something needs to be done and something needs to be done now. The unwanted surge comes after the state received over 140,000 test results in just one day. On Saturday, Florida's governor repeated his claim that people trying to escape the heat by going indoors may be to blame. When it's hot, people would rather be you know, inside and in enclosed air conditioned spaces. It is going to be a better vector for transmission. This morning, some Florida communities are rolling back reopenings, closing indoor dining at restaurants, and in Miami-Dade County, a renewed 10 p.m. curfew. Despite the rise in positive tests, Walt Disney World welcoming tourists. Temperature checks and face masks required. But outside the park, Florida's Governor DeSantis is steadfast in his decision that he will not mandate masks. A stark contrast to Texas, where Governor Abbott ordered mask wearing statewide. I made this tough decision for one reason. It was our last best effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. If we do not slow the spread of COVID-19, the next step would have to be a lockdown. Florida breaking another record in the last seven days. 73 people a day dying from coronavirus. Three weeks ago, the number was 30. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Miami Gardens. More federal resources are coming to Houston today to help combat the coronavirus. Governor Greg Abbott giving the green light to those resources last week. They include an urban area medical task force from the Department of Defense and a disaster medical assistance team from U.S. Health and Human Services. No word yet on where they will be stationed in our area. Help is on the way for small business owners in Harris County. Within just the past hour, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo joined commissioners in announcing new details for the COVID-19 Small Business Relief Fund. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez is joining us live this morning with more on this. Kathy, good morning. Well, this morning, the county started accepting applications to support small businesses here in Harris County to help them stay afloat during this COVID-19 pandemic. A $30 million grant is designed to help the most vulnerable small businesses with less than 30 employees. Businesses could receive a grant of up to $25,000 to help cover payroll, rent, and other operating costs. You can fill out applications online at readyharris.org or harriscounty-sbrfund.org. The application period will remain open through 3.30 the afternoon of July 24th. The acceptance is not first come first serve and businesses will be selected at random. Judge Hidalgo says it's important to help our small businesses. Small businesses are the backbone of our economy here in Harris County and the pandemic has hit them especially hard. We in county government can't make up for all the loss, but we're doing everything we can to try and help. Their survival is not just critical to the prosperity of our region, but also to the character of our community. And Judge Hidalgo also said already 1,000 people had applied. The program is funded by the Federal CARES Act. It is not a loan program and will not have to be repaid. But again, the deadline is July 24th. Reporting live, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.